So, after crashing my Mavic Air 2, I finally got the DJI Mini 3 delivered to me in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to share with you my 8 cinematic drone moves that I do to capture any kind of travel location that I go to. These will help you out to get started. And then as you can progress, you learn more and more moves. Look how tiny this thing is. See that? It's smaller than my palm. I'll try and show you the move and the joysticks at the same time so you can get an idea of how I do these moves. My remote is set up in its default configuration, mode 2 for the DJI drones. And I shoot in cine mode with my pitch and smoothness set to 4 and 15 respectively. The most basic but still a move not to be underestimated is the straightforward or backward move. It is great in every film, whether tracking the subject or not. Next up is the regular tilt up or down while moving forward or backwards to reveal something. These are ideal for establishing shots in the beginning of your story. From a regular tilt up, we move on to the slow, low angle tilt up to reveal a location or subject, or even moving from one terrain to another like from the rocks to the water in this example. Follow or track left or right, moving alongside the subject, puts the viewer inside the film. This is an easy move pushing left or right on the right joystick only. The crane or jib is similar to the last move, tracking left or right with an additional upwards or downward motion added to it. This is used in most movies and is very simple to achieve with the drone, so go for it. This move is similar to number two, tilt up moving backwards, but I usually add an upward movement as well. This is also great for reveals, but something more grandiose. My favorite drone move of all time is the top down. This perspective is something we don't usually see and it looks great as a static shot. Adding moving up or down and even rotating creates a wonderful dynamic shot. The orbit. Many drones have a mode to do this automatically, placing the subject right in the center of the frame. But I prefer to go the manual route so that I can control the location of my subject in the frame and the speed as well. I have a bonus move for you. Simply place the drone in a position difficult to reach and allow the subject to enter and exit the frame. That's it, like a tripod. The more interesting the perspective you can achieve with or without motion, the more cinematic the shots will look. Start practicing with these nine moves on your favorite subject or location and then slowly add other movements once you perfect these. Your projects and film will improve with leaps and bounds. Remember to have fun and fly safe. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more such content in the future. Until next time.